Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to this Next.js and Strapi tutorial series. In the previous video, we implemented the reducer, as you can see here, um, to pass the images that are returned by our um, API endpoint, um, so as to make them, so as to make our um, React components unaware of the fact that the images that we are using are coming from uh, Strapi or Contentful or whatever CMS. Uh, because remember from the first lecture that we had uh, from the first video of this playlist uh, one of our core requirements was to make our view layer our react components unaware of the cms that you're using but you can see here um, that in our api still um, the changes that we made the reducer that we made are not yet um, uh, taking effect right and the reason is because if you go if we go to uh, the company um, function here you can see that we are still returning a raw company right so the goal of this video is to implement the reducer um, that will also pass the company data and make sure that all our, the attributes that we need for the company are not nested within this attributes uh, um, um, key but at the upper level, okay? So alongside with uh, the ID, okay? So that's what we're gonna do here. And within that company reducer, we're also gonna use the image reducer, which will also then uh, allow us to um, return the proper image format that uh, our area component expects. So let's create that um, reducer for the company, const company reducer equals to raw company all right and then what we do is first of all let's do let company equals to okay we can do raw company dot attributes remember that's where uh, the attributes are coming from this attributes here okay and once we have that what we want to do is company dot id equals to raw company dot id all right and then the logo and finally we can use our um, image reducer equals to company dot logo right, we just overwrite what we have there company dot cover image equals to image reducer dot company dot cover image very good and then we return we return what we have here is called company obviously we need to use that here so let me import it here first import company reducer from utils and i'm going to use it here like this very good now let's test this bingo voila you see now we are returning past version of our company with all the details that we need and ready to be displayed uh, in our react components one last thing I, I remember this function that we created very very early in the tutorial but it's not really the right function um, so let's make it better uh, by using the query string like all the other the other um, functions the other queries so let's create this here here is string stringify and then we pass a couple of objects populate all right which allows us to fetch uh, our assets i don't think this function is even used um, by any um, react components i don't think so so we just add it just to make our code consistent okay in code values only true very good excellent okay and then now obviously we need to make the call and uh, use that as a query string like this very good and then raw companies obviously once we have that we need to return the past version so i'm going to call const equals companies was to uh, the mapped version of this where for each of them we have the company what do we return we return company reducer uh, the past version right very simple stuff as you already know return companies all right so now if i go um in our in our test strapi and i call that function instead so let me 
oops let me call that function counts data equals await oops await data source dot get companies and i comment this out very good let's see very very good now we are getting the two companies that are in our database uh and they are completely passed and ready to be used by um, Strapi, by uh, our React components, okay? So in the next couple of videos, you can see we're going to implement, uh, we're going to do the same thing for the uh, the jobs. So now we are returning the past version of the company, but how, what about jobs, all right? So we're going to do the same thing in the, video, in the next video for jobs. So stay tuned and i see you there. Thank you for watching. Bye.